Hello, and welcome to another how-to video. In this week's video, we'll be taking you through a new feature of Miles like Pee-wee NVRs that has just been made available with the latest firmware update. This new feature is generically referred to as channel access. So what is channel access? Channel access is a feature that allows the user to access IP cameras that are connected directly to the Pee-wee ports of the NVR using a browser, as you would with any camera not connected directly to the NVR. Without the channel access feature, when you connect cameras directly to the PoE ports of the NVR, you will be unable to access certain camera specific settings. This is because when cameras are connected directly to an NVR, they are given a subnet IP address that is not accessible from the LAN that the NVR is connected to. For example, the miles that NVR we are using in this video has the IP address 192.168.1200, but the cameras connected to the NVR are on the NVR subnet with addresses like 192.168.20.1, 20.2, 20.3, etc. Until very recently, Milesite NVRs did not support the channel access feature, but with the latest firmware, it is now possible to enable channel access on any Milesite PoE NVR. Setting up the Milesite channel access feature is really easy. First of all, you're going to open Internet Explorer and log into your NVR. Once logged in, you'll want to click Configuration. Now, before we move to the next step, we'll point out how the cameras appear before you activate the channel access. If you click Camera and then Camera Management, you'll be taken to a list of the cameras connected to the MVR, both directly and via your local network. From this page, you can change some of the basic camera settings that affect how the camera records to the MVR. These include resolution, compression, frame rate, and some other settings. Now let's get back to setting up channel access. The next step is to click the System tab from the menu, and then click the Network menu from the drop-down. On this page, you'll see many different tabs. The tab we want is right at the end and labelled More. When you click this tab, you will see a series of settings that can be enabled or disabled. The first of these settings should be labelled Channel Access and will be disabled. Click where it says Disable and click Enable from the drop-down. After that, simply click Save and Channel Access will be enabled. To actually use the Channel Access feature, you will want to return to the Camera Management page with the list of cameras. Everything here should look exactly the same. The only difference is that in the Camera table, there is now a column labelled Access and for each camera, there is a small Internet Explorer icon. When you click this icon, another browser tab will open with a login page for that specific camera. Enter the camera's username and password before clicking login. You should then see a live view of that specific camera and have access to the configuration menus to change camera specific settings and update the camera's firmware. When you first start using the channel access feature, you may not get a live view when you log into the camera. To fix this, we recommend changing the settings so that the camera uses HTTP instead of UDP to stream. If it still doesn't work, we recommend clearing the cache of the browser you are using. Again, if it's still not working, we would recommend checking that the Milesite browser plugin is installed and up to date. And finally, if the live view still doesn't appear, then contact us via email or web chat and we will pass your problem to Milesite for further support. One final thing to mention, make sure your MVR is on a firmware that is 8.45.6 or higher, otherwise channel access will not appear in the MVR settings. A link to the latest firmware is in the description below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do by clicking the Use IP logo. Check the description below for the links to our web shop, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. If you want more videos like this, click the playlist on screen now. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.